हेलो डॉक्टर्स आज हम बात करेंगे एंडोमेट्रियल की लेयर्स के बारे में जो कि हमारे एक इनफर्टिलिटी ट्रीटमेंट में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो टुडे वी हैव डॉक्टर ए बी वानी फ्रॉम बिलमेड हियर सर प्लीज बताएंगे थैंक यू वेरी मच सो टुडे विल बी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एंडोमेट्रियल थिकनेस नाउ हेयर द पॉइंट बिफोर थिकनेस इज लेयरिंग यू बींग ए गाइनिकोलॉजिस्ट ए प्रोफेसर ऑफ गाइनिकोलॉजी इज बेटर यू नो अवेयर ऑफ हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट दीज layers are over here so when we talk about the layering we are having three layers try to understand one this is second one and this is the third one now point number one do we have actually three layers or more try to understand hmm. do we have three layers or we have four layers we have three layers we have four layers uh, uh, really? <laughs> now see this is tunica functionalis or basalis this a What is this? Tunica uh, functionalis or basalis? Basalis. So this is tunica basalis. Now try to understand. So this first one, A one, is the tunica basalis. What is this C? In between this A and B, there is a C. This C is not actually a line over here. Hmm. This is a hypoechoic area in between these two lines, A hmm. and B, wala. Hmm. What is this C now? I think this is tunica functionalis. Tunica functionalis. Now see, this is tunica functionalis. Then, now coming to this B, uh, what is this layer about? I think uh, as yeah. I have attended your classes, mm -hmm. so I am a bit biased now. But mm -hmm. this is a collapsed cavity. This is the cavity line. Very good. Now see, this B is actually cavity line. This is anterior and this is the posterior wall, right? Mm. So how many cavity lines you will be having? Mm. One from anterior and one from posterior. posterior. Yes or no? Yes. Now if I will take some fluid and I will put fluid over here in the uterine cavity over mm. here, the, won't you see two splitted B's over here? Exactly. Right. So this B is actually composed of two fused cavity lines. Mm. So. This is A. This is the first line, mm. and here also I am having tunica basalis mm. on the other side. So one, this is second one, and here I am having two lines. Mm. So actually I am having four lines because of the collapsed B. Mm. I am seeing only three lines. Exactly. Right now, now the total thickness of this endometrium. we are measuring from here to here right now the question is when i am measuring the endometrium what i am measuring actually i mean the bulk of what tunica functionalis or tunica basalis try to understand first Obviously. repeating the question for others repeating the question when you are measuring the endometrial thickness mm. what actually you are measuring 90 99% is composed of tunica Functionalis. functionalis it means whenever your endometrium is thin hmm. it is due to the thinness of the tunica functionalis not basalis exactly so it means that the thin endometrium is due to the thinness of the tunica Function. functionalis that is why you hate a thin endometrium okay. right okay. so that is why you hate a thin endometrium because in thin endometrium you are having less of tunica functionalis, functionalis. now coming to the color doppler when we are doing an infertility scan we are putting color over here when we put a color over here what we do let me clear all this we are trying to see vessels over here in color doppler hmm. try to understand vessels over here over here where in tunica functionalis functionalis if your tunica functionalis is thin you will not expect more of vessels over here hmm. right now whenever a blastocyst will drop in the endometrial cavity hmm. if your endometrium i mean the tunica functionalis is less you will be having less number of vessels yes or no yes so thereby the chance of implantation will increase or decrease 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 number 1 number second if your these vessels are not here but they are somewhere you know not into that tunica functionalis but they are over here hmm. 
your blastocyst, whatever has dropped our hair in mm -hmm. the endometrial cavity, will not get find it easy or will not get connected with the far vessel. Exactly. So this blastocyst will get thrown out. Mm -hmm. Okay. See how important this endometrium is. Whenever you are doing an infertility scan, please don't, you know, confine your scan onto the uh, follicle, follicle, follicle only. Equally important. Equally important is this endometrium. Try to understand the layering over here. So mm -hmm. this is the scoring, what we are giving in the biophysical score of uterus. Repeating, biophysical score of uterus. So this was... Uh, you know, sh brief information about this uh, mm, uh, infertility uh, scan, I will say. Mm -hmm. So this is not all about the infertility scan. Uh, if you want to uh, join with us, uh, you can connect and you can get back to our helpline number or you can visit our helpline number for details of our courses. But I told you not to confine your scan onto the follicle, but follicle is also important. If you don't have a seed, mm. you have nothing to sow over here. Mm. But if you are having a good seed mm. with a fertile land, then only you will expect a good result over there. So here comes the menstrual abortions and all these which we will discuss uh, some other day. Now, I will uh, give you, uh, you know, uh, a very brief about the color flow of a follicle because now we are having a lot of machines with the mm. color Doppler and people are thinking that pressing on to the color mm. will uh, give you more information. It is not uh, like that. But you have to decode mm. the, uh, uh, you know, ultrasound picture. Mm. I mean the color Doppler. Mm. Then only your color Doppler machine, whatever you have, bought uh, with uh, so much of uh, money will give you uh, practical results. Now I will uh, show you uh, the color Doppler, color Doppler, role of the color Doppler in, uh, you know, uh, in a follicle. Uh, mm -hmm. Now in see. Infertility especially. In infertility, right. Now whenever we are having a follicle, now this follicle can be about to rupture, rupture that we know already. But the point here is that, see, when putting a color over here, try to understand, when putting a color over here onto the follicle, what you are supposed to see? You are expecting more blood flow in a dominant and about to rupture follicle. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Is that right? Now, how much, how much should be the blood flow surrounding the follicle so that I can say that this is about to rupture and a dominant follicle? More than 75. More than 70%. Okay. Now, if it is more than 70%, I am putting in front of you this follicle. You tell me honestly. And whosoever is watching us on the uh, YouTube or social media, you can comment in the comment box. Mm. How much is the color flow? Tell me honestly. How much is the color flow in this follicle on putting a color? Is this percentage wise? Is this 10%, 20%? What do you think? I think it's uh, just 40%. 40%. Why madam is telling me 40%? Because visually this is looking like it is 40 or maybe a 45%. Yeah. I will say, I will say it is about 80%. Yeah. I will prove. Yeah, but... Now the point is color Doppler is not a magic, magical mm. stick. Hmm. That will do job for you. Hmm. You have to put your neurons into the machine, then only machine will work. This is actually 80%. Why? Now, I have to go back to physics. I hmm. have to uh, see the angle of insulation. I have to, you know, uh, uh, make sure that I have understood the color of, uh, angle of insulation. What angle of insulation is? Angle of insulation means that, now see, beam is coming this way, right? Hmm. This way the beam is hitting. Yeah, this color will be seen oh. here and here not on the top and neither in the bottom why because the flow not 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 the flow the beam is hitting this way so i am drawing it this way right mm. now this part this part 
is being headed by about a 90 degree. Am I right? Yes, sir. Whatever part on color Doppler is heated by the beam by 90 degree, you will not see any color over there. Because of angle of insulation. Because of angle of insulation. This 90 degree is worst for color. What it means? I am not seeing color over here due to <laughs> this 90 degree hitting angle. Hmm. It means if I will change my angle, hmm. I will see color here also. Hmm. Now the point is, if it is present here, if it is present here, it is automatically in the bottom and automatically on the top. Hmm. Now you tell me, putting this all over here, taking the angle of insulation in account, hmm. is this 40% or more or 70-80%? Or it may be 70-80%, but the angle of insulation is... Wrong. Right. So please make a note that here and here, the beam is hitting the vessels by 90 degree. That is why you are not seeing any color over here and here. So you have to add the top and bottom in your total. Exactly. Repeating the last statement, you have to add the top and the bottom in your total calculation. Now, when I put this added in whatever I am seeing, then it is about a 70 to 80 percent. Am I right? Hmm. Very good. Is color Doppler a magical stick for me? <laughs> if used in the right way. If used in the right way, but if I will take it as a photography, it is not. It's not. So, we will come back with these types of shots at regular intervals. Mm -hmm. uh, you can subscribe to our uh, channel if you are watching this on uh, YouTube. For more information of our courses, you can contact us on our helpline number or you can visit our helpline number. See, doctors discovers our infertility, gynecology, radiology and everything and it gives you uh, more satisfaction to see your patients to do ultrasound by yourself and see for the vascularity of the follicles and everything. It gives you all, uh, immense uh, satisfaction to yourself do your scans and uh, say you will be able to explain to the patient more clearly and in a more satisfied way. Thank you. Thank you.